And there were plenty of stupid deaths in the ancient Greek city of Athens when a bloke called Draco was in charge. He was super, super strict. The court of historical law is now in session. Today, we are using laws from the ancient Greek city of Athens. Prosecuting all the way from the year 621 BC, the great, the all-powerful Draco, ruler of the Athenian people, philosopher and lawmaker, and the accused, Seth. So then, Seth, if that is indeed your real name, I put it to you that on the night of the twelfth day, in the orchard of Darius Panagopoulos, you did wantonly, brazenly, and with malice of forethought, steal an apple. What? Stealing an apple? Is that what this is about? Did you or didn't you? Yeah, I nicked an apple. So who do I owe an apple to? <laughs> I'm afraid that under my draconian law, the theft of an apple is punishable by... Let's see, shall we? Death! What? Guards, take him away and make him dead. Wait, wait! No, I remember now. I didn't steal an apple. <laughs> I distinctly remember standing in the orchard and making a point of not stealing any apple. But you were in the orchard, which sounds like trespassing to me. Which, under draconian law, is punishable by... Death! Guards, take him away and make him dead! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on, hang on! No, it's all becoming clear now. I was nowhere doing nothing. On the night in question, I just sat around, nowhere in particular, doing nothing whatsoever. In which case we shall drop all charges of theft and trespassing against you and replace them instead with a charge of idleness which under draconian law is punishable by tickling! Well, that's not right. Death! Guards, take him away and make him dead. Uh, unless you can think of something worse than death, in which case do that too, okay? This is an outrage! Well, not a bad result, I'd say. I mean, you have to take a hard line with these lawbreakers. Actually, I think you'll find that was my apple. 